Hi friends, Andrea here with a new video for Hip Kit Club. I am going to be working with the January 2021 Hip Kits and we are going to be making three 6x6 six six cards, perfect for Valentine's Day. They will all have a different color background but one element in common that is a big hard shape in the middle but you'll see what we're gonna do with each one of them on the first one you saw me tracing I took a piece of cardstock any color it doesn't have to be pink it can be any color because we are going to completely cover it so we are gonna be creating some Two paper tubes so we're gonna you see me here rolling the pieces of paper I put one piece of super sticky double-sided tape at the end I'm rolling the paper now pressing here to give them the shape it might this technique will require a little bit of strength uh, since these pattern papers are thick so, but the idea is to cover that heart shape that we just traced and cut completely, entirely. We're gonna cover it with these tubes and then we're gonna glue them and we're gonna cut them and we're gonna get a fabulous heart, a 3D paper tube, super pretty heart that we're gonna use at the center of one of our cards. This technique requires patience. So it requires, it takes a little bit of time since you're cutting every single piece, you're adding the double-sided tape, you're rolling, you're then pressing to get the actual shape, but the result is, it's really worth it. So just give it a chance. If you want to go with a smaller heart or a smaller piece, you can definitely do so. I believe this may be the last one that I'm showing you how to do. Oh, we went with one more. I think I prefer that pattern. The last ones I just rolled, put in place, make sure that that's where I wanted them. And then I shaped them into actual tubes. That one will go there. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm picking up the ones that didn't have the shape. Okay, so now another step that requires a little bit of patience. <laughs> we are going to glue them all together. This so it's is clear tacky glue. And you see me adding some onto the cardstock and then also a little bit onto the previous piece that it's already on the cardstock. That will help our new rolls to stick not only to the cardstock but to the previous roll. And again, takes just a little bit of time and patience. You want to make sure that you cover you cover all the gaps, that you cover also all the edges. It is way better to make sure that your rolls are longer and that then because then we're gonna cut the edges with the excess. So that's the other thing. Make sure that the the base of the cardstock or whatever piece you use, it can be chipboard cardstock, whatever that you use for your base already has the shape that you're looking to achieve. Since after, yes, once you glue them all there, the next step is to cut the excess. Okay, we're gonna set that aside for the moment to dry and make sure that uh, by the time we need to cut, 
it is perfect. And now onto our second card and you see there I use a metal die to get a big heart shape in the middle and we are gonna have a big, <laughs> a big hole. So there are many things that you can do with this same technique. You could create a shaker, you could leave it as it is, you could add a piece of different pattern paper on the back of this flap of the card and not leave it as a hole, or you can leave it as it is. For on this card, we're gonna leave it as it is. We're gonna decorate the outside. We're gonna create two different flower clusters. One of them will have a sentiment, and then you'll see what we'll do, what we're gonna do with the inside of the card. So the inside, I always like to decorate them to put something on the inside of the cards. So these ones are gonna be really simple. But again, we're not just gonna leave them as a piece of cardstock once you open the card. You, you kind of need a base to write your sentiment or your message to the person that these cards are gonna go to. So again, what I was looking, looking for uh, when creating these cards was how to adapt one idea and use different techniques to give you again different ideas on on what to do how to do it and normally if there are ways you can create a set of cards that all of them match that look relatively the same even using similar elements or similar colors similar shapes you can do something making sure that each card is completely different that also works normally the cards are gonna go all to different people, so they don't necessarily need to match unless you, you know, you really want them to look super pretty when you take a picture for yourself or a reference for yourself. So again, different ideas. On this one though, we're going with similar but different, <laughs> different colors, but we're keeping the same size card and we're also keeping the same original idea which is a heart shape in the middle of the card to be the star of our cards. Okay, we are almost done with this one. I end up changing that leaf, I found another gray one, yep, we do that. Oh, we need two more flowers, yep. And these clusters come together just playing with different thickness. I have adhesive foam, I have the, the entire sheets that are and I have the, sorry, the foam squares. The foam squares are a little bit thicker than the other ones. So normally if I want to stack one on top of each other or create different layers and thicknesses, that's what I play with. So that's mainly why sometimes you see me adding square foams and that, and sometimes I add, I cut from the piece of foam and then add it to, to the project. All right, so we are done with the outside of, oh no, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna bring some enamel dots and these are from the December kits. I didn't get to use them because on the December kits, when I worked with the December kits, I think I went with some of the November ones. But I think this color was perfect here. And now for the inside, again, we're gonna keep it simple, but here we go. We could have gone with just a regular piece of square paper, but I said I do have the dies and I think I can definitely play a little bit with the idea of having the hole on, you know, the cover of the card. So I cut two different sizes and these are, one is larger than the one we use than the die that we use for the hole and the second die that we have here with our white cardstock is smaller so you can see when you close your card you can actually see that there is a smaller heart inside there you go the last 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 thing 
to add to the scar is one of the wood veneer pieces. There is a super tiny, pretty heart that we're gonna use and we're gonna add it in the middle. And that is it. So we're going back to the first card we were first card we were working with and here is what I was explaining you that make sure that your original piece your the cardstock that you're gluing this roll onto have the actual shape you are looking to achieve that way it is as easy as just cutting around that shape Maybe you won't get the all the rolls to look perfect, or some of them are not gonna look perfect the first time you cut around around them. So just play with them a little bit and you will eventually get there. Okay, so our second card, this is again the main piece of it. So what we are going to do is we're gonna now add it to the cardstock. I did um, in order to attach this piece to the card, I did use double-sided tape. You're gonna see me adding a few strips of double-sided tape. Reason being, even though I think maybe the liquid glue would have helped and make sure that, you know, that piece really stays there, I didn't want my paper in the inside to I didn't want any trace of anything, any glue on the inside of my card. Because when this person opens a card, I want them to go directly to the message and not to, you know, maybe warped paper or paper that doesn't look that good because we decided to, you know, glue a super heavy piece on the other side. Okay, I found this super pretty chipboard sticker that's a rainbow shape some foam tape to create even more texture. I found another chipboard sticker. This one is a phrase. And yes, we want it there, but we're also gonna play with another wood veneer. And that's what I am looking for at the moment. I believe so. There you go. I tried leaving just one of them, but I really, really liked the other, the other phrase. So I decided to keep them both and the last thing we're gonna add is this tiny chipboard heart and there you go there is your second card so two cards one more on this one i'm using the big die to trace the shape of the heart and now we are gonna make sure that we add a bunch of elements Just and keep them within this within this heart. So I'm bringing all of the stickers and especially the ones that are small. You see those stars, the, the tiny stars, the red and green, those are from the November kits and the other star set, set is from the December kits. I wanted to make sure that I had different elements and textures and sizes and colors mm. to play with here and this might take a little bit of a little bit of time and if you're looking for you know try to be as perfect as you can trying to make sure that in the end you're actually able to see the shape And I'm just going, I'm showing you a little, you know, pretty fast how how it came together. We're almost done. And to me, that kind of looks like a heart. Almost there. <laughs> That those scissors actually helped 
and okay there you go now there are some still some gaps and what I did is I came with the tiniest stickers that I could find so some of them are heart shapes and some of them are enamel dots but those tiny pieces help filling up those gaps and now this will be the sentiment that I want to add in the middle I removed two stickers just because I knew they were not going to be seen. They were going to be completely covered by our, our sentiment. So I didn't want to waste them. Okay, just trying to find perfect placement. And we got another, we got our third big card. Okay, just trying to erase all the pencil marks there you go here okay before we move forward these are three tiny cards that I made using the whatever was left over from the 6 by 12 pieces that I cut to create the big cards the 6 by 6 cards now these ones I thought it was nice um, to show you what I what I did with them it's tiny notes or small sentiments that you can leave uh, for the kids or for your co-workers or people that you like if you're gonna make if you're the kind of people that make tiny or special Valentine gifts these are the perfect size cards or perfect size notes to add with your with your gift that's why I decided to keep those here and show you how they look, how they still match. I used the same colors and as something as simple, I'm gonna walk you through each one of them, I think. Okay, we're gonna do the, sorry, we are going to add now the inside, the paper that's gonna be on the inside of the card. And for this one, it was the only one that I used, one of the packaging papers. I think it's really, it's really cute colors went great with this cardstock and it's perfect to you know still to write a message on it I just add added one chipboard sticker and then below that I will write my message and here we go so as I said, these tiny ones are a little complement and they're super, super simple. They just have one sticker or wood veneer. I used uh, my Nouveau drops and then on the inside it's again a sticker. You can also add a handwritten note and they're good to go. I have this one. As I said, this is the packaging paper. Another one, this is a puffy sticker with little sentiment in there. Our big purple card. go another tiny card with some fussy cut pattern paper and a puffy sticker wood veneer and puffy stickers on the inside and here we come with our last card you can see all the texture that is created so yes this one takes a lot of time to put together and lots of patience but I, I really think it's it's worth the time it's worth the effort Alright, so here are all the cards and you can see I have some of the elements and products from the kits that I used to create to put this together. This one, I hope this video inspires you to get creative and to put together a set of cards, especially with, with Valentine's Day coming up. 
and the January kits, there are still some left on the website. Make sure that you take a look at those. The February kits will start shipping, I believe, maybe next week or within the next 10 days and they're absolutely fabulous. I will have all the details on where to find the kits on the description box below and if you have any comments please I it makes me really happy to read you every time that I get to be on the Hip Kid Club channel. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. This was Andrea for Hip Kid Club and I will see you next time. Bye bye!